What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build the TGV Rasu Duplex. So this is my model, and I got a lot of requests to do this, especially the TGV Duplex, and I decided to make it Rousseau since I already had a Rousseau, and I made it a different color scheme than the one I had. You can see this is the original one. So this one's actually blue, and it's a multi-level uh, train as you can see. And one thing that I didn't realize before I made it is that all the cars, they're not the same. There's actually uh, three different lengths. So uh, the first car will be longer, and then this is different from that one. And that was just complicated. I'm glad I realized that when I was making it. So anyways, that's what it looks like. And uh, let's get started. So first off, let's put a uh, polish andesite down. And you want to make this T-shape right on top of the tracks like that then we're going to take stone brick stairs just add that in front of the T alongside it so it looks like a giant triangle and once we're done with that let's take clay and just add that on top like that like a 3x3 three three. then let's add block of quartz on actually not a block of quartz here just a clay here and then a block of quartz after that. Uh, then we're going to take blue wool and you want to make this segment 27 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And uh, you want to do that same thing to the other side. I guess we can uh, make the floor. You can make it anything. So let's just pick uh, gray wool. And for this train, as with most of my recent other trains, there is no interior. So it doesn't really matter what you put as the floor. You could put like stone because you can't really see it. Alright, so once we're done with that, Let's get a uh, blue wool and you want to add four to the back. So one, two, two, three, four on each side. I think it's going to be identical. I make that two blocks tall. Then we're going to go back to the front and add uh, two blocks of quartz on top of here. Then we're going to place uh, magenta hardened clay. Then uh, two blue wool. And on top of the two blue wool, let's put uh, quartz like that and then let's take clay just add uh, two on top of here like that and then we want to take uh, stone brick stairs just add that in front of the clay and right at the front uh, let's add the lights so that's just another brick slab like that and in the middle let's put stone brick slab like that then let's add uh, clay over here front and uh, clay in the middle of these stairs and I guess you could put it here as well and then let's add um, black stained glass two of them here in the middle we want to add a uh, gray wall on the sides let's also add the black stained glass and then next to it we want a black stained pane and then gray wall then let's take clay and just extend that all the way to the back of the lead car. So right around here. And do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so then let's take, uh, I don't have it right now, so let me just grab it, the stone slab, just add that to the corners here and into the middle I'll just make it more smoothened out then on the roof let's add a stone brick slab three in the middle like that one of the sides then we're going to place uh, stone brick stairs after that and let's take uh, I don't have it right now so hardened clay Sion or scion 
and then uh, we need stone fill that in the middle and then let's add a 2 by uh, 4 then next step is add to the back just add 3 stone over here and let's see what else let's do the bottom so let's take a hopper go to the back and it should be right here actually let's add the stone brick stairs just to show the edge and then we're going to place two hoppers for one wheel and then stone brick slab and then two hoppers again and we should do that on the other side as well right here and then you could put a stone brick stairs just extend that near the front and we can clean that up later once we add the front wheel so just roughly it's somewhere around here go in the front and add the front wheels so let me do that actually we need to add these two uh, stairs to the sides make it kinda curved and then we can add the hoppers it'll be easier to tell where it is and in the middle stone brick slab don't forget that then on the sides we just add a stone brick stairs alright so once we're done with that uh, let's add a blue wall to this door frame and this is where we can place a uh, iron door on the sides and for the rest of the train there won't be any iron doors we're going to use these doors so they're kind of for decoration and basically this is could be the only real way to get in alright so let's get a black wall and gray carpet and we want to add this vent over here so that's going to be seven blocks long so one two three four five six seven same thing on the other side and then on top of the you want to add the gray carpet then in the middle let's fill that in with stone all right so next up is let's add a stone slab over here fill in this area I uh, it's going to be six blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Then let's take stone, just add that over here. Continue it to uh, where level black wall is. And just leave like this space alone. Put a stone brick slab in it. And just fill in this stone area. Alright, we're going to leave this part alone, like that, so it's like there's room for the pantograph to stick out, so right here, you could fill that in, come on, and there's going to be two pantographs here, one's going to be folded, other ones is uh, extended, so let's make the extended one all right here, like that. And then we're gonna use uh, the stone brick slabs to make this slope that goes up. Do it like that, and then let's add upside down stone brick stairs either side of it. And then let's add the other pentagraph. It's gonna be folded right over here, so. Trying to put the upside down stairs right. No, <laughs> accidentally deleted that, which you don't want to do. Let's fill that in so it's like two, like that. And let's see, let's fill in the sides. There's just going to be a gray wool, so that's pretty easy. And let's do the same thing on the other side. All 
Alright, so once we're done with that, let's uh, connect it to the next car. So we're going to make this thing. Uh, forgot what it's called, but it's going to be three uh, stone brick slabs across like that. Then we're going to take gray wool, add uh, three like that, going down and up. And that is what it looks like. And in the bottom, you can actually fill that in if you want with the slabs where the coupling should be. And then we're going to make the next car. So let's take a uh, blue wool, just add that to the side over here. And we want to make this 30 blocks long. So one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And once we're done with that, I've got to do the other side. And later we're going to fill in the floor right after this step. Alright, just uh, use gray wool. You know, if you just fill in the floor so that we can add the wheels and this is the, the first uh, coach that they have so one side it's gonna be I mean the bogies are gonna be uh, independent while the other one is connected to the other coach so you can see right here that it is connected alright so let's add uh, some more blue wool over here. Add two blocks. Let's add another stripe that goes across the whole car. This side as well. Actually, yeah. Just make like this box. And then on top of here, let's add clay layer. That clay might be actually pretty loud, but oh well. <laughs> All right, and then we should add three, three. Go over here, and this is a lot more. So that's like four, maybe seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it should be the same on both sides for this car. So um, let me just uh, double check. I don't want to. Okay, it's a little, a little different. I don't. I'm not sure if I did that on purpose or not. Uh, so let me just match it up. Actually, it is matched up. So oh, okay. So this was a matched up. Now it should be the same. Yeah, the doors align. Okay, it's a little different in this section. So we gotta uh, remember that. But the windows on top, they should be pretty much the same. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seven windows that I made. And in the pillars, let's add the clay. Alright, once we're done with that, let's add light gray carpet on top of the sides. And this is so that it looks really nice and is smoothed out and you can't see the black stained glass poking through the roof. Alright, once we're done with that, let's add a stone brick slab roof and just have that go across the entire length of the car. And my hand is getting kind of numb. <laughs> oh well, I have to finish this tutorial. Alright, so once we're done with that, let's add 
play to the sides. Go over here. Add a stone brick slab over here. And let's make this uh, doorway, I suppose. Like that. And underneath, let's add more stone brick slabs. And also on the sides, we want that as well. And let's go to the side. The side's filled up. All right, so let's do the bottom portion. So we're going to take our hopper and our stone brick stairs, just add a stone brick stairs to this front corner. Then add uh, the wheels, which are two hoppers. Skip one, two hoppers again. And those are the wheels. And then let's take our hoppers over there. So there's going to be two over here. Like that. And then the other half of the bogey, it's going to be on the other car. So these things are, I, th I think they're permanently attached. They're permanently attached train sets. So I'm just going to line up the sides. Make it smooth with the stone brick stairs upside down. And today I made three videos already uploaded. And I can't believe I'm making a fourth one. But this will be uploaded uh, some hours later, so that's good. Alright, so over here let's add the logo. It says TGV, so that's just... Uh, two quartz blocks like that then we're going to add a blue wool over here then let's add a bedrock for the vent then one two three four blocks of blue wool then we're going to add windows and that's just uh, flexing glass so one two three four and half of one. So let me do that to both sides. Fill in the pillars with the blue wall. And you can make this a double pillar actually, right here. And um, let's add the door. So I don't have it right now, so I should probably grab it. Our pink wool. This could be our door. So this part's a little bit different. So there's no vent here. And this actually doesn't have a half. Interesting, it doesn't have half a window on that side. So we should probably fill that up. And the next step is adding this pink wool over here. That's going to be the doorway. Got two on top, two on the bottom. Uh, make a C shape like that. Uh, put a window in the door. And it's the same thing on the other side. Just make the C shape. And then black stained glass. And then let's add two blue wool. And let's add the vent, which is just the bedrock. And let's go over here, add this vent diagonal of this window that and there should be another window over here for this side and a window is right over here so I gotta place that down and what else there it's just blue over there and that's pretty much our second car. Wait, we need to fill in this because that looks weird. And now we're going to make the third car. And the third car, it's going to be repeated uh, twice. So there's going to be two of them. And then we're going to have this middle car. And then the train set, it basically uh, repeats itself. It just uses uh, these greenish, bluish. I think it's green. What is it? Yeah, whatever. It's green. Uh, that green color. Yeah, anyways. 
let's make the next car. So let's add a blue wool over here and make it 26 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Same thing on the other side. And let's uh, add the floor, which is just gray wool again. So in this video, there's going to be a total of four different types of cars, not including the different colored doors. And I know one, one side they have the doors that says number one and the other color doors say number two. So I'm guessing this is probably the front. Alright, so next let's add this box. Another layer of blue wool, just like the other car. Adding like that. And then next we're going to add the clay. And then we're going to add the vents in the front. So it's going to be one vent here, one vent down here. It's pretty easy. And for this side, let's add a vent here. Let me just check. Right, there's no vent over here. so. But there is one window, so let me put that one window here. And go over here. Uh, it should be the same on both sides for this window. So there's going to be like a half window right there, one block between, and it's going to skip this block also, just add these windows. So we have this, so it's going to be, I don't feel like counting. But you can see, this is how much windows you want. And fill the rest in with uh, clay. And the front part, we don't want to have a hole here, so don't forget that. So once we're done with that, let's add a layer of light gray carpet. Just to the sides, you don't need that in the middle. And in the middle, let's add the stone brick slab going all the way across the car. And I wonder how long this video is going to be. It's maybe, I think it's like 30 minutes long. Alright, so once we're done with that, let's move on to the bottom of the car. So let's add our wheels over here, just add two hoppers right here. And go to the other end and add these two hoppers at the edge of this car. Then for the middle part, let's fill that in with uh, stone brick stairs. Same thing on this side. Okay, so then let's add, um, let me see the blue wall on that side. Okay, so it's like, fill these two in. And fill that in, and this should be where the door is going to be. And I just realized, if you want to make the interior, you got to make it a little bit different. Uh, because when you come in, it won't make sense. I think for that car, you can't see the floor because I did use a uh, slab over here. So it's kind of like that, I believe. 
Anyways, you know, I'm not going to make an interior, so it doesn't matter for me. So let's just make the C shape with the pink wall. Uh, put a glass inside of that. And same thing on the other side. The pink door. Then let's add oh, two blue walls next to it right here. Then go to the front. Just uh, add three. One, two, three. And there should be a couple windows down here. So we just fill in this area. So that's like five windows on this side. On the other side, it could be different or the same. So I guess there's five windows here too. So do the same thing, just uh, line it up. And we're almost done with the car. Alright, so once you're done with that, let's uh you you would basically make this car again and you just stick it on the end and I'm gonna pretend I already did that and I'm gonna make the middle car. So to make the middle car, uh we have to add this part, of course, coupling. So don't forget that. And that's pretty much the same for all of them and then let's make this middle car right over there actually that's kinda of far so it's hard to see but it is uh, 26 blocks long I believe so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 same thing on the other side and fill in the floor you don't have to use uh, the gray wall, that's just what I did for this tutorial. Yeah, so if you want to actually have an interior, I would recommend using stone slabs, and I think that's what I did for my original one. And I'll later show you the interior. Alright, so once we're done with that, just uh, add this layer on top like this the same thing on the side and once you're done with that let's add a layer of clay can actually make it go across like this So right over here, one, two, three, four blue walls, and then we're gonna add bedrock, space, uh, two bedrocks, space, two bedrocks, and we want to do that until we have uh, six of these. So it looks like that, and then you're gonna be left with a couple stuff over here. So I should fill that in. And I know it's not going to be the same on both sides, so one's going to be four, and one's going to be five. And I just did that because I wanted them. I uh, I don't think they changed the car length for this car, so I want to keep it the same. And for the other side, the vents are going to be the same. I know I saw this in videos, like half the vents are uh, not really sticking out. They have a different color. But for now, I'm just going to leave it all like this. Alright, then let's add clay. And black stained glass. Just add a black stained glass here and then two clay. So black stained glass, two clay. And this side, we're just going to make it all clay like that. And for the other side, let's see what it looks like. So there's two, 
And this is also two. And this side has three windows. So let me add the clay. And then add the three windows. So one, two, three. And this side I think I had five windows. So one, two, three, four, five. Then let's fill. Actually, let's add a black stained glass here. And black stained glass here. Then we could fill the rest in with clay. And let's take the stone brick slab just to fill that in for the ceiling or the roof. And my butt's starting to hurt from sitting here so long. check on this side yeah it is five and there's not much uh, much else left so that's good so let's just fill in the sides with the light gray wool going all across I mean the carpet you know carpets are pretty good block to use before they had carpet you it was much more limited what stuff you can do Alright, so once we added the carpet, we should probably work on the bottom. And that should be pretty much it after that. So let's get a hopper, just add right here to the edge, two of them. And then you would connect to the next car, which is the same as uh, this part over here that we're going to make. Then add the space on the sides that we have left and just fill that in with the stone brick stairs and you should be good. should be pretty much it for that car and then for the next car you would basically repeat the same exact thing uh, you would have two of these cars and then one of those uh, to attach to the lead car and that's going to be pretty much what we did in the front and you're just going to flip it and change the color of the door so yeah that's pretty much it what I've got for you for the TGV Rasu Duplex. I hope you guys enjoy this video and that was really long to make <laughs> and I'm finally done. I'm glad that I got this over with but probably you guys are gonna request another TGV but that's okay I guess and uh, if you guys enjoy this video please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.